This is the Insta360 ONE X2 and this is the Rode Wireless GO 2 and when the two of these are mounted on top of the invisible selfie stick from Insta360 and connected together via this audio interface from Sinova and this cold shoe mount from Ulanzi it looks like this and in this video we'll be asking the question could this be the ultimate vlogging setup? Let's find out. I'm all about stress avoidance. It's always made sense to me to put a bit of thought and effort in early on to avoid unnecessary hassle and time wasting further down the line. So when Georgie and I set up this company and started this channel, we knew we'd need to find a vlogging rig that was super convenient. It needed to be discreet, effortlessly portable, with minimum setup time and operational with the least amount of buttons to push. So after a lot of research and comparisons, we arrived at this. So, this is the Insta360 ONE X2 with the Rode Wireless GO 2. I imagine most of you are already familiar with the Insta360 ONE X2. 360 action camera, shoots in 5.7K and does all kinds of other cool things. Now that 5.7K is shared around the whole 360 degree spectrum. So after cropping into a 16 by nine aspect ratio, it comes out at maybe just above 1080, which is absolutely perfect for YouTube. If you do want higher resolution, there is the option to tap on the touch screen here and you can choose to just use one of the two cameras. That single lens mode is called Steadicam mode. It gives you a 150 degree field of view and it records a resolution of I think 1440 so you do get a bit more resolution than working in the normal 360 mode. The ONE X2 small size and weight make it ideal for outdoor vlogging. It fits in any camera bag, it even fits in your pocket, even fitted with the wireless GO2 receiver. It still takes up very very little space. And with its built-in image stabilisation it's fantastic image quality, it's ability to shoot in uh, different colour profiles. It makes a pretty good vlogging camera. One of the most powerful aspects of shooting 360 video is the ability to reframe the footage in post. And the Insta360 app makes that really simple. Reframing the camera angle and even programming camera movements is as simple as adding keyframes to the timeline. I'm going to hit the forest trail in a minute. And we're walking through the woods, so we should get less wind noise, but lots of trees rustling. So I thought I'd talk a bit about the image stabilisation in the ONE X2. Now, it's called Flow State and you can switch it on and off in the Insta360 app. But this is me walking along across some really uneven ground here. And as you can see, it's really, really steady. This is a big advantage for me because I really don't like the shaky camera footage sort of look in vlogging. So this is the Insta360 ONE X2 with the Rode Wireless Go 2. Out here testing out the vlogging capabilities in the English countryside on a quite a windy day. Typical terrible English weather. Right now it's not raining, so fingers crossed it'll stay that way for a few minutes longer.
Adding to the versatility of this setup is the ability to just mount it onto the windscreen of your car like this. And because it's a 360 camera, you can give your viewers a full 360 view of what you're looking at on the road and turn the camera back to yourself or your passenger. And obviously you've still got the sound quality, even though we're inside the vehicle. This is a really noisy engine. So this is an absolutely ideal setup if you're doing motor vlogging. And because the GoTo has two transmitters, you could have yourself and a passenger mic'd up. Here's a great example of what I was talking about earlier, the ability to reframe the video from the One X2. This is the scenery that I'm looking at right now as I'm walking along talking to you. And because it's a 360 camera, I can just turn it around in post like this and let you see what I'm looking at. Now again, we're more exposed here, so we're picking up a lot more wind. There's a lot more wind hitting this lapel mic. As you can see, I've got the, the wind guard on, so hopefully that's doing a lot to cut down on that wind noise. Another great thing about this setup is that it's really discreet. Even with the invisible selfie stick fully extended, it's really not very noticeable and doesn't draw any attention. The transmitters on the Rode Wireless Go 2 are quite heavy, but it's not an issue if you're wearing a hoodie like this or a jacket or something, they just clip on there and they do behave themselves. But if you were using the wireless go to in summer or you're doing travel vlogging and you're in a hot place and you're just wearing a t-shirt, you might want to clip it to your waist and use a lav mic. The combination of the flexibility and versatility of a 360 camera the great sound quality and great range of the Rode Wireless Go 2 really do make this the ideal choice for us. And it's worth mentioning that this whole rig is available for less than the cost of an entry-level DSLR. There are two transmitters with the Rode Wireless Go 2, which means if you're doing an interview or if there's two of you vlogging together, it's absolutely ideal. The Wireless Go 2 records both transmitters onto separate channels, one and two, left and right. But you can merge the two channels to create one stereo track. And if you just pair up one transmitter, it records a mono track to both left and right channels. When the Wireless Go 2 receiver is attached to the One X2 using the Synova audio interface, and the Ulanzi cold shoe adapter, it sits in the stitch line, so in your final footage it's completely invisible, so it doesn't affect the 360 abilities of the One X2. When connected up to your Mac or PC, the Go 2 can also act as an audio interface, which really adds to the versatility, and it's a great feature. And speaking of Macs and PCs, the Rode Central desktop app is a fantastic way to get even more features from the Go 2. This is why the Insta360 One X2 paired with the Rode Wireless Go 2 is the ultimate vlogging setup for me personally, because Georgie and I are on location most of the time, we're outdoors, and for me this is where it's at, I love to be outdoors, this is where I like to vlog, this is where I like to be creative and do all of my creative stuff.
So in conclusion, depending on your needs, the Insta360 ONE X2 paired with the Rode Wireless GO 2 might just be the ideal vlogging rig. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.